Gold Coast have withstood a brave comeback by an undermanned North Queensland unit to strengthen their finals quest at Skilled Park. The season-ending leg injury sustained by Jonathan Thurston last weekend robbed fans of what is arguably the number one individual duel in the NRL. The Titans, and in particular their captain Scott Prince, weren't too bothered about that because it simply meant they had one less obstacle to overcome. The match began in dramatic fashion when Clinton Torpy came away from a tackle, apparently claiming he was bitten. The seasoned Kiwi was asked by referee Jason Robinson if he wanted to take the matter further. However, he declined. A closer inspection of the incident suggests that the match review committee will certainly be having a good hard look at it. Torpy centre partner Steve Michaels was presented with the evening's first crack at points. However, he couldn't finish off his spectacular juggling act. It was only delaying the inevitable, it seemed, especially with Prince not having to contend with JT. Too much speed for our man. Exactly 10 minutes later, Nathan Friend darted over as the home side assumed control. Friend goes straight through, and for the second time inside their own 20, the Cowboys crack alarmingly. The Cowboys' misfortune with injury and suspension looks set to continue after Dane Hogan's nasty-looking cartwheeling of Kevin Gordon, which earned him a booking. From the penalty, Gold Coast set up camp and Prince's undoubted class did the rest. Everybody chasing through Steve. Michaels, he comes up with it. There's try number three for the Titans. In the last 60 seconds of the half, the locals could have had another one when Preston Campbell cut through and found Anthony LaFranchi, who was held up by the Cows' cover defence. They might have missed out on six, but from the next tackle, Prince derived a minor consolation. To make it 19. With 19 points in as many minutes, the hot favourites were doing it comfortably. Complacency shaped as the Titans' biggest danger heading into the second 40. And Ty Williams' try within two minutes of the resumption should have been a sign. Ty Williams puts it down and it's the Cowboys who score first in the second half. It's almost to be expected these days that there'll be fire and brimstone in a Queensland derby. And for the second straight week, sparks flew north of the border. And the sin bin was utilised. This time the occupants were North Queensland lock Luke O'Donnell and feisty Titans hooker Nathan Friend. So with 12 on 12, both sides stepped up their attack and the cows cashed in out wide. Williams a chance, he got there to put it down. John Williams landed his second conversion from the fringes and North Queensland suddenly had a sniff. That scent grew stronger when Anthony Watts dived over from dummy half. Amazingly, the difference was now just one, but the Titans reacted in a manner befitting a finals contender. Bailey for the line. He will charge over the ball. Bull Bailey's crucial try was followed by another forward, crowning a day he'll never forget. But he gets the ball away from Michaels. Celebration this will be. Gold Coast began the game by scoring three straight tries, and despite their laps in the middle, that's how they finished it. Michaels is in this time. That capped off an extraordinary second half of football and gave the Titans their fourth consecutive victory, one that ensures they'll be no worse than third at the end of 23 rounds. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport.